Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. We were we thought all done for the day, but um, I feel this is something we should just do a quick video on. So uh, we were talking about in the last video we did how it seems so strange that this plane just fell straight out of the sky uh, down in in the Sao, Sao Paulo region of Brazil. Uh, unfortunately, everybody aboard uh, lost their lives. It was the way it came down, just kind of like floating straight down. It, it was like, yeah, it was really weird. It's like it had no forward momentum, like it hit some sort of energy. It's really just bizarre. And now we see uh, Trump, President Trump, 45, uh, his supporters are waiting for him to show up and he's late. This is because his flight was diverted. Uh, they're waiting for him in Bozeman, Montana, by the way. His flight was di diverted to Billings, Montana, where his plane made an emergency landing, they say, due to some sort of equipment uh, failure. They say this right here is saying it was a hydraulic leak. God, you know, I mean, have you guys ever watched one of those movies where somebody goes and shimmies underneath the car in order to create an accident by cutting the hydraulic line? I'm just saying, you know, it makes a good movie storyline, exciting drama, when all of a sudden, oh no, you're careening down this mountain road and you have no brakes and what are you going to do? Well, you know, here you go. Uh, I, I just think about uh, our good friend Joni Petri, the Vedic astrologer. It, please do go and listen to her video she put up today because Joni is really excited. Uh, she is really you know, screaming to the hills about what the next few months have in store for us. So this is DC Drano. Trump's plane makes emergency landing in Billings, Montana due to equipment failure. Coincidentally, or not, medevac flight and motorcade en route to Billings from Bozeman. Hmm... Now, there was a, a med medevac flight that everybody was watching and wondering, oh my gosh, did something happen to him again? And are they rushing him out? And some locals said, well, it would make sense because uh, there's there's a higher level uh, trauma care. You know, so at, at the location where the medevac was going, it just makes you wonder what's going on because, you know, again, we cannot trust anything in this world. I know, and I feel so bad for those folks. They're out there. They're trying to do their best. They're supporting. They're waving the flag, and it's probably really hot, and the kids are cranky, and everybody's hungry, and now they don't know what's going on. None of us really know what's going on. It just it feels... Um, well, it definitely feels like we're not being told the truth, you know, A, B, C, D, like what happened in what order. So I think it's just a watch and wait. Yeah, again, you'll you'll have probably everything from nothing really happened. It was all hype and to, you know, oh, wow. You know, it was probably somebody uh, was a hero and saved the day. Yeah, everything in between. The reality is, you know, again, we, we never really know the truth. We'll know. What they finally tell us is the official version of things, but is that how things really transpire? So meanwhile, people wait and, you know, we'll see. This is something that should really make you go, hmm, because New York is very, very blue. New York City is very, very blue. This, this just got to make you say, what? New York City Police Department just enacted an emergency rule to allow non-residents to apply for New York City concealed carry permits it, in the blue states it's much much harder to get yourself a permit when I moved from Connecticut and when I was in Connecticut I never considered it even though I had to go for certain uh, jobs I had into the dangerous areas I, and I probably should have thought of it but I never considered it and yet when I moved to South Carolina, it was one of the first things I did was get a concealed carry and took the course and all that um, because I was going to be out in the woods a lot and hiking. And I was worried about everything from gators to snakes and whatever else you encounter. This just is absolutely bizarre unless you happen to be a CONS piracy theorist. Yeah, this is very, to me, it's really disturbing. And, you know, it just shows you who's running the show. 
There, there are no good people in charge. Obviously, we can see that. Emergency rule to allow non-residents to apply for concealed carry permits? Why? You know, what do they know that we don't know? What are they trying to do? Uh, are, are they concerned we're going to break down into a civil war? Are they afraid of us getting invaded? Or have we already been invaded as many people suspect or are coming to realize in a blue state this is the thing that's the most insane yeah i could see you know texas or something changing laws but of course you know in texas i believe it's open carry and i'm not sure if they're i'm not sure if you need a permit in texas for concealed carry or not a lot of states are going um to permitless concealed carry um, I personally, you know, I, I, I think, you know, obviously you don't want people that are on certain substances or have a history of violence or, you know, uh, have broken the law numerous times, repeat felons, etc. To, to have easy access to reality is too, they'll find it anyway, as there's always people that are willing to do things that are against the law. Uh, and it makes us that really, really do abide by the law feel um you know almost like there's nobody really supporting you if you're actually quote unquote law abiding mm -hmm. i know i know so well definitely keep an eye on this one and keep an eye on everything else you know because it's all just unfolding right now i don't think anyone really knows the the full story and if they do are they gonna report the truth hmm boy i don't know yeah we've been sending a lot of people joni's way um and and her channel is growing uh, last name is P-A-T-R-Y. Very simple to um, spell it out there. But sh as she was pointing out, the astrology that we're seeing t that, that's coming together in this, the last part of August, well, right now, is very, very concerning. The middle of August, right where we are now, um, it is very, very concerning for big events, especially real inflammatory events with Mercury retrograde, um, not understanding or getting across your point uh, well is always going to be a problem, communication issues. But then for the rest of the year, um, definitely very concerning. Uh, she's equated it to um, Pearl Harbor. Uh, with looking at the, the U.S.'s chart in particular, she feels that we're in for an October surprise. She keeps talking about October surprise. And now I'm also trying to keep updated with... Um, the uh, Polish psychic Christoph, as well as his English um, channel, Clear Seeing, hasn't really been updating consistently, but he's gone live a lot. Uh, uh, one of our family members translates for us, um, and you know he is expecting a lot of the same. So when you see like three or four sources kind of getting the same picture, and it agrees with what you get, uh, then you know it, it's time to be as prepared as possible. Mm -hmm. It's time to watch, yeah. Absolutely. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself, especially in the summer. Sometimes you just need to have some summer fun. Go ahead. It's Friday. Uh, you know, enjoy yourself, relax, but, but stay prepared too. I know that puppy's, he looks very prepared. Absolutely. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.